This is the Samsung Note 8, a phone that will finally replace the bad memory which Samsung witnessed because of the Note 7. The Galaxy S8 brought Samsung back into the game and now the Note 8 takes the game a step further for Samsung. The Note series is a segment on its own. Not many players are competing in this segment. Of course, there are big screen devices but none has so far been able to replicate the success and the features of the Note. The Galaxy Note 8 takes everything from the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and still is every bit a Note that people expect. The Note 8 is still a big phone, 6.3 inch of Super AMOLED display which in one word is just gorgeous. Also the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio which we've already seen in the S8 and the S8 Plus and in this particular phone it just makes it look taller and smaller than what you would expect. The display is also HDR capable, one that will give you a vibrant, crisp and bright results. And watching videos is going to be a delight in this one. The Note 8 looks slim, but still, it can't be operated with one hand. It demands big pockets to be put into as well. Like the S8, the scanner is on the back of the phone, to the right of the camera module. It's still frustrating, but human beings adapt, so will you. Samsung offers both iris scanner and face scanning unlock system on the Note 8. So you don't necessarily have to rely on the fingerprint scanner as much. Both face and iris scanner work well if used at the right angles and in the right light. It has the same virtual pressure sensitive home button at the bottom of the display and it is also water resistant. So getting it wet isn't a worry. We were not too pleased with the single speakers. Good thing there is a solid pair of AKG earbuds tucked inside the box. Now what sets the Note apart from the rest is of course this stylus. This is the reason why people buy a Note in the first place. It makes much more sense to use a phone this big a size with the stylus. It's much more improved now. The S Pen can be used to take notes, mark up screenshot, doodle, select text, just navigate the phone software with a finer point in your finger. You can even take notes on the lock screen without unlocking the phone. The most fun new feature is Live Message which lets you record animated GIFs of handwritten messages or drawings and then share them through your app of choice. Note 8 is also the first smartphone from Samsung that gives you a dual camera setup. Although they're a little late uh, in joining this brigade, but uh, better be late than never. And you get two 12 megapixel camera. One is your telephoto, the other one is your wide angle. Most of the time you'll have no idea which one you're using, but it uh, doesn't really matter because the results that you get ultimately out of this are just excellent. Good color reproduction, good details, and yes, there is optical image stabilization. If you didn't realize, I didn't have to do that, but there's optical image stabilization, which is going to make sure that uh, taking those videos is also going to be a flawless experience. The picture taken are right up there with the photos produced by the Galaxy S8. Though shots captured with the wide-angle sensor benefit from the camera's f1.7 aperture. The telephoto lens has a respectable but unimpressive f2.4 aperture. These sensors pack optical image stabilization which helps the Note 8 tremendously in low light. You'll still find the occasional soft edges but these sensors excel at sucking up whatever light is available so even shots taken in dim, dingy lighting come out brighter and more vivid than expected. Having two cameras also means you can add bouquet to photos in the new live focus mode. Not only you can blur the subject during the picture but also on post-production. The Galaxy Note 8 is powered by Samsung Exynos 8895 SoC. It sometimes has trouble picking up every edge of the subject in front of it but in general it's been very good at separating the foreground from the background. Now the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is powered by Samsung Exynos 8895 SoC coupled with 6GB of RAM. The phone is a beast just like the S8 Plus when it comes to power and you will sail through everything like a jet boat.
Coming to the battery, well, with a capacity of 3300 mAh, it's actually a little smaller than the one in the S8 Plus. The battery will just about last you the day. We recommend you make use of that quick charging to be on the safer side. Alright, so the Samsung Note 8 aces in all the parameters that are there to uh, say whether the phone is the best or not. So it ticks all the boxes and yes, this is the best phone that is available in the market right now. The best of Samsung, the display looks gorgeous, the performance is top notch, the camera quality is just excellent. The battery is something that, uh, yeah, so it doesn't last you the whole day, but uh, you'll have to come around it. As it is, I think most of us are used to charging a phone twice in the day. We should do that. Now the S8 Plus is still a very good option in the market, gives you same performance. Doesn't have the dual camera, but still an excellent camera in the S8 Plus. And what the S8 Plus doesn't have, well, of course, the bigger display, the dual camera, and this. The S Pen. This pen makes all the difference because none of the phones here have this S Pen. Only the Samsung Note 8 does. So yes, this is the best of Samsung, the Galaxy Note 8. Price is 67,900 rupees, which I think justifies all the feature that the phone is actually offering you. But I, yeah, I mean, you would have doubt, but if you want the best of Android experience, look no further.